Let's start question two. Now question two says, Annex to A shows a summary of Bomvana's vehicle and household insurance policy. Now go to Annex to A and make sure that you have it, right? Because there's no point reading the question and not actually know what's going on. So here is the car and household insurance. It's for Bomvana, right? And we're going to obviously have to look at this and answer questions with regards to this information. So have it on hand, okay? So it says use Annex to A to answer the questions that follow. Write down the policy number of Bomvana's insurance policy. Okay, non difficult question. Let's see. Policy number, right? It says here, if you look over here, policy number, there it is over there. Okay, so we're going to write this down. Remember, it always starts on a new page. So we're going to say question two. Hopefully, you have nicer handwriting than me. Right, and it is. Okay, let's get this right. Two, three, three, eight, eight, three, five, zero. Okay, so just make sure that you are writing that correctly. Don't uh, make any mistakes there, but quite an easy one. Okay, let's go into the next question. It says, also to make sure that you label these correctly. Determine the missing value A, the monthly premium for the VW Polo. Right, so remember whenever there's missing values, they're always going to ask us to calculate them. Right, so over here there's A and that's what we're going to have to calculate. It's not too difficult to get A. We just have to do a bit of backtracking. So do you see here that we have the premium and it's basically a sum of all these things, okay? So we're going to sum all of these things together and we're going to subtract them from there. But careful here. There's a discount that's been applied. So actually it means that this amount at the end should have actually been more than what it is because it's the amount after the discount. So this amount we have to add back onto there and basically say this is the amount that, he, that Bombana would have paid had the discount not been applied. Okay, and then you take off all these other values and whatever's left is the value of A. Okay, so it's not super simple because there's this negative here. Okay, and students often um, don't see these negative signs and they just assume that it's all part of this, but be very careful. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we're going to start by saying 2.1.2. We're going to say 2184.21 and we're going to add back on the discount. Okay, because it's a negative value. Then we're going to subtract everything else off, right? So we're going to subtract. I'm literally going up here, and I'm subtracting everything off. 23.30 minus 201.79 minus... Look, I'm literally going up. Done that, done that, done that, done that. Minus 133.16 minus 520. Oh, goodness me. 41 minus 200.41 minus 7.16. Okay, so basically I'm doing all the opposite signs of what's there. So I'm stripping it out. So here, because it was negative, I added it. Then here I subtracted all of those. Whatever it's left with, whatever we're left with will be A. Okay, the biggest thing again here, I know I say this a lot of times, make sure that you're typing this into your calculator correctly. Okay, so we're going to add this back on. Then we're going to subtract the rest off. Okay. Um, just be very careful that you're not making any mistakes because I know that I um, very, very commonly make mistakes and I don't want you to do the same because you don't want to make mistakes for things that are actually quite avoidable. You see, I made a mistake there. For one minus 7.16. Okay. And our amount of A, if I'm not mistaken, is quite expensive, right? I have the um, memo here with me. Um, so I'm always checking as we go that we're doing things correctly because obviously we don't want to do things incorrectly. So this is 1355.06 and the memo agrees with us and that's how you go about it. Okay, please remember always two decimal places and remember your currency. Okay, sure, I have so many pieces of paper here with the annexures and everything. Okay, 2.1.3. Bombana qualifies for a discount on his insurance premiums as he has insured many times. Okay. Uh, many items, sorry, not many times. Um, calculates the percentage discount that he receives if the total monthly premium before the discount was this. Okay, so it wants the percentage discount. So we know that the discount was this much. Okay, so it's this much, right, of the amount that he would have paid. So it's just a percentage. So we're going to say here 2.1.3. We're going to say 266.15 because that was the value of the discount from here. Okay, then we're going to say over what he actually was paying, or should have paid. 2450.36. Then we're going to times by 100. Why are we times it by 100? Well, because it's a percentage. Okay. So we're going to put this into our calculator, right? And we're going to have 
Uh, oh, goodness, I did a fraction over a fraction. It's like fraction inception going on here. Okay, cool. Two, oh, goodness me. 2450.36. Then we're going to times this by 100. And that is our percentage there. So the discount that he got was this. Okay, again, round off to two decimals. Why did I make it 86? Well, the third decimal was below four. So we round down. So it becomes 10.86. And there's a percent there because that's what they asked for. Okay, so we've got quite a few marks already. I mean, that's nine marks that we've done already. But you can see there's little tricks to what we're doing here. Okie dokes. Bumbana was involved in a motor vehicle accident during July 2022. Okay, the quotation for damages from the panel beater was 43,520. Okay, it was quite a big accident. I hope that he was okay. Determine the amount the insurance company will pay for the panel beaters. Now, you could be just saying, uh, obviously, it's a 43,520. Well, we don't know that, right? We need to go look at the information that's given in this insurance. Look here, talks about excess values. Now, remember, you must look at all the information. Excess is the amount payable by you, Bomvana, right, to the service provider whenever you make a claim. So now he's made a claim. What was this for? This was for a motor vehicle accident. Accident, right? There we go. How much does he have to pay? He has to pay 7000 So it asked us here, determine the amount the insurance company will pay. Well, the insurance company will pay this much. Mine is the 7000 That Bombana has to pay. Okay, so be very careful when you're reading this. This is very common, right? This is, you could be thinking, oh, that's crazy. Why is this happening? This is what happens in the market, right? Um, and it's to make sure that people um, aren't having accidents and just thinking that they're fully covered. You know, it, it, it makes sure that people act in a way that um, avoids accidents because obviously they're going to be penalized. Okay. And we call that moral hazard. Okay. I work with that a lot in my actuarial work. Okay. You don't have to put the point zero zeros in, right? You can if you want. But the insurance company is going to pay that much. Okay. That's how much the insurance company is going to pay. They're not going to pay the whole amount. They're only going to pay that much. And we are done with that question. Okay. Now we're heading on to VAT. Now, very importantly, before I move on, you have to know that VAT is 15%. That's something that you have to know for these exams, right? Um, and what is important is that you also make sure that if you if if it is given right you obviously use 15 percent but don't now forget about doing that or use 14 percent that's often what students do especially in past papers when they're older before the vat rate was changed there's 14 percent often just make sure that you're always comparing it because in all of your present past papers right or any papers you'll do in the future they'll look at 15 percent so it says calculate the amount of vat included in the total monthly premium okay so now what's important here is the total monthly premium is given there and it's including vat Okay, so basically you want to say, how much of this is actually VAT? Now remember, there's this general rule. If you're wanting to include VAT, you times by 1, 1, 5. If you wanted to strip VAT out, which is what we're wanting to do now, we're going to divide by 1, 1, 5. Okay, that's just the rule. Okay, so there's that. That's the amount. We want to strip that out because VAT's already in there. Okay, so we're going to put this into our calculator. And it's going to be 2184.21 divided by 1.15. And there is our answer. Now, you could be saying, wait, what, what is that that we've just calculated? Well, let's just read the question again. It says, calculate the amount of VAT included in the total monthly premium. This amount that we've calculated here is not the amount of VAT. It's the monthly premium had VAT not been included into it. So, we are not done yet with this question. We actually have to say... The monthly premium including that, subtract the monthly premium excluding that, and that is the amount of VAT that we pay. So don't just finish it there. Students are always tempted to do that, right? We're not done. It wants the VAT amount. So put this into your calculator, and you'll see that the VAT amount is that amount. Okay? So don't don't um, misread your questions or don't fully finish your questions. Okay? It's a very common thing that students do. Okay, now these next two questions are interpretation questions. Okay, so no calculations. They just want you to actually talk about, do I actually understand the mechanism of what's being presented in this annex journal? So it says here, the premium for the Toyota Corolla is much lower than that of the VW Polo. Give one possible reason for this big difference in the premium amount. So let's look here. There's the Toyota, right? And then remember what we calculated for the VW Polo was this amount over here, the 1,355 and uh, 0, 06, 0, 06 rand. Okay, so it is a lot higher. The reason being is for numerous things. OK, 
Okay, it could be an old model, the Toyota, so it could not be worth that much. So if it's written off, etc., it's not actually going to cost the insurer very much. Because remember, premiums are always um, related to cost. So if it's going to cost the uh, insurer uh, less, they're going to cost uh, charge the the policyholder, Bombana in this case, less, right? Whereas here, the VW Polo is going to cost the insurer more, so they're going to make Bombana pay more for the VW Polo. So there's many reasons you could give here. You could say the Toyota is a um, older model. You could say that the VW Polo is a higher risk vehicle because we know that VW Polos are stolen more often than Toyota Corollas. So there's many reasons you could give here. I'm just going to say, right, it just said to give one reason. Be careful there, it just said one. So you don't have to give a bunch of reasons, just give one. And I'm gonna say VW Polos are, um, more likely to get stolen than Toyotas. Okay, and there's my answer there. Okay, um, as I said, lots of other things you could say, but that's just the one that I'm choosing to write down. Then it says, Bumvana pays a My Home premium for household content cover to the value of 200,000 Rand. After the household contents were evaluated for the insurance purposes, he bought an additional lounge suite. Okay, so now it's been valued and he's paying a premium on that, but now he's bought another nice lounge suite. Okay, so it says, explain how the purchase of this new item will affect the My Home content premium. Now, you should say, right, well, the premium should go up, right? Premium should go up. Now, you could be saying, well, why would it go up? Well, remember, premiums, what did I say? Premiums are related to cost. Now, he had a set premium given the, uh, the items in his house. Now, he's increased, right, the value of the items in his house. Therefore, his premium should go up, right? So, I've said, explain, so premium should go up, and I'm going to say, increased value of items in house, right? And there, you are done. Okay, so these were sort of, it was a bit of calculations, but also explaining your calculations. I hope that was helpful.